I'm here at Mazak today, Mazak Optonics here in Chicago. I'm going to head inside and talk with the president, the senior application engineer, and the head of service and support. So come on in with me and let's learn a little bit more about lasers. I'm Al Bolin, president of Mazak Optonics, and we're based here in Chicago, Illinois. So Mazak Optonics is the laser entity of Mazak's global operations. So here in Chicago, Illinois, is our base of technical knowledge on laser technologies for the North American market. In recent years, we've experienced an incredible amount of growth. Our market share has also grown proportionally. So of course, our operations need to support that. As our customer base grows, we still need to provide world-class service to everyone who's purchased a Mazak laser. So both introducing new technologies to the market, but as well supporting those existing customer base has to grow along with that. My name is Garrett Peterson. I work here at Mazak. I've been here for 23 years. My current role is applications manager. Uh, one of my responsibilities is uh, going through the machines when they come in, finding uh, new cut conditions, new ways to process materials and try to be ahead of the competition. I believe uh, the customers like the Mazak because we're a, a laser only facility at this plant. Uh, so we are concentrated on lasers only so we're not worried about press brakes or water jets or something else. We focus solely on the laser itself and the cutting and then we offer some automation solutions to go along with it. So now with the, uh, right now everybody wants to know more about power. How fast, how thick can we go? And of course, the more power you have, the thicker and the faster you can go. Uh, with tube lasers, not so much the case because you, if you have more power, that means you'll probably go through the side walls on the back side of the tube. But with the flat lasers, power is going to be key in a lot of areas where we can go faster and thicker. For example, let's say our 10 kilowatt, we're going up to uh, 32 millimeters thick uh, with stainless steel, aluminums, and mild steels even. Uh, and our 15K, we're going to be hitting the 50 millimeter marks. Some of the newer technology that we've introduced into our 15K is going to have some, uh, some beam shaping and some uh, mode shaping as well. Uh, there are some benefits to that to where we can get an edge quality on the stainless steel that is a CO2-like edge. We're getting close to the CO2 edge quality. I am Luke Surratt, General Manager of Customer Service here at Mazak Optonics. So I'm over all of our service and installations team as well as in-house phone support. So Mazak, over the last 18 months, we have been putting a massive push on improving our customer service. We have over doubled our internal staff on phone support as well as opened multiple service regions and have been on a hiring rampage to basically give 24-hour support on site to anyone and under 20-minute response in-house. As well as here in our parts department, we've made a massive investment to turn parts quicker to our customers, as well as inventory to be more efficient, to get parts to them in a timely manner. And also, we can still get parts within 24 hours from any of our other worldwide parts centers. So if it's in stock anywhere in the world, we can have it on site at a customer within 24 hours. So we've developed a new app for our customers called Orange Support. Um, what it will do is gives the customer the opportunity to directly connect 24 seven with our call center, um, put in an app request, it hits directly to our callback board, gets them right in the queue. We can do one way video calling with that as well. So there's no more guessing or whatnot you know, customer could be on their phone, we can see what they see to help diagnose, troubleshoot the problem and correct it before we have to dispatch service. As well as you can post pictures into it, everything, pictures worth a thousand words. Could be four phone calls back and forth to something they could take a picture of and we could troubleshoot and diagnose instantaneously. As we look out into the future, 
One of the things we feel very passionate about is embracing North American operations, meaning to develop more here in the United States. So while we do have a very big global footprint, we like to critique and customize our machines for some of those applications that are very unique to, say, the Midwestern operations of agricultural machinery or food processing equipment. And we're really looking to those specific markets and say, can we kind of tailor our products for these markets? So one of the things we've done is with this recent expansion is to add an R&D center where we can take some of our existing products and kind of develop them to more specific needs of customers in these markets. We're super excited about what is the next generation of laser and how that really complements all the things that we've been building up to over the past 30 years of building laser products. We're really at the next wave of new technology that allows us to take a laser beam and do so much more with it than ever before. And so we've introduced a totally new product called the NEO platform. And this gives our customers a unique advantage to customize both part quality and speed. So there's no compromise between the two.